Oi, what's going on? Um, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming it's because you're interested in learning how to set up video capture or a stream for older consoles that use um, composite video, S video, that kind of thing. Um, this is specifically for the Dazzle DVC100, I think it is. It's either DV100 or DVC100. I have one freaking on my desk. I don't know. Um, anyway, a lot of people have problems with the drivers that these come with so I actually had the same experience where you run the stuff off the disc with the new one and it just either like it kind of worked for me but eventually like you lose the disc things happen stops working whatever um, basically what I've done is I've gone in and I've extracted just the drivers out of the disc um, for you guys so this will make things way easier um, I got this uh, Dazzle Drivers folder and I'm hosting this on uh, just one of the domains that I own. Inside here you're going to have your 64-bit and your 32-bit installers. Um, if you're 64-bit you're going to go in here uh, and just run the setup. Uh, I guess run the, you can either run the MSI or the setup. Like This one basically calls the other one, so it's not a big deal. I guess just run the MSI. If you're 32-bit you're going to come in here and do the same thing. Um, and that'll just give you the drivers that you need. You don't have to like run the disk or anything like that. Um, you'll be good to go. So it, uh, I've given this to a few people who have asked for it and I've had positive feedback on it so far. So uh, not a scam, hashtag not a scam. And uh, hopefully this uh, can help some of you guys out too. Um, I'm not gonna go through like the entire Amarec configuration uh, document that I got here. This is on uh, Speed Demos Archive. Um, but this is basically what you want to do if you're going to be capturing via Amarec, which is like the best way, the lowest latency, um, and then from OBS or XSplit or whatever streaming software you're using, just capture the Amarec window. Um, but it, I'll put this link in the description here, as well as the link to the, the actual download. I think I have it copied. Oh, I don't have it copied anymore. Uh, it's going to be this one here dazzle.zip you can hit enter oh no it's not dazzle.zip it's uh, I'll put it in the description I promise dazzle drivers .zip. I should have had the link, the link ready here. Anyway, I just downloaded them. Dazzle drivers. Yeah, that's what it is. Um. Anyway, oops. I'll I'll put that back in the uh, in the description. It's for you guys to use. Uh, but basically, if you want to. Uh, set up Amarec. I'll put this link as well. Uh, just follow the guide all the way through. It pretty much tells you everything you need to do uh, to get the Dazzle to capture properly. Um, and if you need links to the other software, um, I'll put this link here for the speedrun.com resources page as well. They have uh, links to the correct Amarec version you're going to want um, for the Dazzle. I think, I think this actually does here too. Yeah, it it's actually has it on the speed demos one as well. Um, and it also has links to XSplit and OBS and things like that, timers that you might need, all that kind of crap. Um, but yeah, basically, if, you, if you're if you running uh, the installers out of my download link, it should just work. Uh, you may have to go in and uninstall, like, because if you've installed from the disk, it's going to install some kind of bloatware, like, studio that they use to, like, capture video, and it's, it's not very good software, uh, and it can kind of interfere with... Um, how the Amarec program uh, is trying to capture video, like, if you have it running, it, it can mess things up. So I recommend just uninstalling everything from the disk and just using this. Um, but yeah, if you uh, have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment or send me a message, and I will be able to help you out. Um, I mean, we've gotten 15, 20 people running so far on this and had nothing but success. This works for... 7, 8, 8.1, Windows 10. Um, I don't even know if 
Dazzle would work on XP, but if it does, these drivers would work, because these are the only drivers that were on the disc, so... Um, if it does, if it's supported, then this this will work. So like these are these are right off the uh, the disc that comes with it. And you you can also buy like a used Dazzle now because part of the reason they I think that they don't include these anywhere. Like you can't download these anywhere from the the manufacturer website or anything like that. And I think part of the reason for that is just because they don't want people to buy and sell used Dazzles. But if you get these um, from my link, then you'll be able to. Uh, use a used dazzle because you can just get the drivers using this and you, if, even if the person who sold it to you doesn't have the disc or whatever you're, you're good to go um, just use these and you'll be happy and then you can save money and yeah we future thanks for checking out the video